Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Joyce and you might notice that I have been missing for about eight months from my channel because I just needed to take some time to step away. I am a wife and a caregiver to a man with mental illness and that subject matter right there is often a weight and a burden that I carry that sometimes just becomes heavy and I just need to disconnect. And um, so it's important that you understand, I just didn't go away because I didn't care, but I really needed to regroup. And I also wanted to think about what's the direction I wanna take this channel in. And um, so I've renamed my channel to Reflections from ReThrive because we are gonna talk about mindset. We're also gonna talk about developing this grateful attitude for where you find yourself living in because guess what? We have been highly influenced by this influencer culture and it has shaped how we think, how we shop, how we dress, where we go, you know, the house we live in, the car that we drive. And I'm here to tell you that that bubble needs to burst and I'm happy to be the one to burst it. So we are going to talk about that a lot on this channel because I want to influence you in a way that lets you know that no matter where you are and what you're going through and where you live, what you drive, um, what place you choose to call home, that's enough, it's good enough. and. Um, stop being influenced by all of those other things. We are going to start off with a fresh tour of our apartment here in Nashville. And, um, you know, I'll show you the changes that we've made, the updates since the last video that you guys loved so much. So, um, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you will like this video, that you will comment and you will share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel and help me get subscribers. If we can get to a thousand followers, that's a really important um, landmark for me. We're going to grow this together. So I thank you for being here and um, all right, so let's just jump right into the video of the apartment tour. We're going to begin with kind of a zoomed out view of our entryway. Um, we've made a few changes. I've changed this probably several times since the first apartment tour video that I did. I had a shoe rack in here and I removed that because we just need this nice wide open space. So we have a little bench to put your uh, purse on or your shoes underneath and a little coat rack. So not a lot has changed about this. Um, it's simple, but it's pretty. We did um, add the little chandelier or the little light hanging above because it adds more of a moody vibe, which I am all about moody vibes. <laughs> um, and you've probably figured that out by now. This has changed, um, and this recently changed actually, this beautiful piece we thrifted, the mirror's also thrifted. Um, you know if you follow me for very long that I am all about thrifting. and. Um, by the way, this is not something that I do because it's a trend. I grew up thrifting. My mother was um, a very uh, avid thrifter. And um, in fact, at that phase of life, we never wanted to tell anybody that we got anything from a thrift store. Uh, but now it's a way of life. Um, and so uh, anyway, I'm very proud of that. So welcome to the living room. This has changed many times since the last video. Um, this is a fairly fresh arrangement. I probably did this about a month ago. And in a minute here, you're gonna see why I did this. But I love this little corner, um, angling the sofa, flanking it with the chair. Um, it creates, um, I like things cornered. You create pretty angles in a room. It takes the room from being a box and makes it have purpose. So in this corner over here, um, I needed a place for my desk and um, I have to be in the living room and that's because we have daughters that have a studio and they need that space for recording. So I have obliged and given them that space because they really need it. It's very valuable and important to me that they flourish and succeed. So this is my little corner in the living room and I wanted it to not necessarily look like a living room. While we are here, we are going to take a peek outside very quickly and talk to you about our balcony garden that is in the midst of 
happening. We have planted seeds um, and we have got a garden started and I'm so excited about this. But in keeping with uh, thrifting and being thrifty and frugal, we made this planter box. Um, I almost, I was tempted to buy one and then I thought, no, we've got wood. Surely we've got things that we can make this planter box with. And sure enough, because my husband's a bit of a pack rat, he had saved these really cool legs and we had this wood left over from a previous project many years ago. And um, so now we've got a planter box and um, three planter boxes over the banister on this side and one down on the end. And then we got this cool little tower with all of these little compartments for our little seedlings. And so we're excited about this. I hope it flourishes. I'm a north, northwest facing patio. So we get sun in the morning and in the evening. And um, so we shall see. I will keep you apprised of how our garden does grow. Um, so we've plugged our pretty chandelier lights in. Um, these, I love these. These are antiques actually. And I just love the lighting out here. And it's kind of a gloomy day, and I thought, I'm going to plug them in, and we're going to mimic the sunlight on the patio, and we're going to fake it, because <laughs> we've had some real fickle weather lately. So, um, But this is our favorite space. We spend a lot of time outside. So we're heading back inside now and um, we're going to go into the kitchen and I, I want to talk to you about this mindset. I did this video very intentionally today to discuss mindset because it's so easy to feel this pressure to keep up with everything and everyone and feeling like you have to have the latest trends and fads. Trends and fads, friends, are for people who um, cannot make up their own minds. It's really for the lazy-minded thinker. I encourage you to be your own person and love what you love, no matter if it's in style, not in style. Just do your thing. Um, I've always done this. Um, I like what I like. Um, I love this space above the cabinets, by the way with picnic baskets and they're great for storage. Also, um, I wanna talk to you about this window cling or window film. Um, I forget what you call it actually, but the window gets so gross in a kitchen. I love that we do have a window, but um, I wanted the light but privacy. So we found this film and it was so easy to apply. I've noticed they don't have it anymore, but it's just the perfect colors. It just it just is perfect. Everything about it is perfect. Um, it just adds so much life to the kitchen. But you know, you could complain about all the things that you don't love. And instead of doing that, I think it's important that we begin to shift our mindset into focusing on the things that we do love, the things that we have. Life isn't about things, but we are surrounded by things and things do make us feel certain ways. And so why don't we develop this mindset that says, thank you, God, for this stove that I have. You know, thank you for the small dining room. It may not be large and elaborate, but, you know, we have a dining room today. And speaking of dining rooms, this table um, we have had for as many years as I've been married, and um, I recently changed it. It had the claw feet on it, and I used the pedestal part and added a base, and I like it so much more. This is about using, again, something that you have that has some memories attached to it. My husband doesn't want to get rid of it, so we redid the top recently. We also redid these chairs. Um, the They were painted turquoise or they were turquoise color rather and we painted them to look like leather uh this corner you might remember me talking about this in previous videos but this is one of my favorite things about the dining room um this space that houses functional things yet is very pretty 
And yes, I know I'm missing a knob and that's very intentional. That's because every time I walked by there, I would smack this with my leg and it's the wrong style of knob or drawer pulls. Um, so I got rid of that one. And um, that way we don't hurt ourselves. You know, I love collections of vintage dishes, vintage glassware, vintage everything. And these cups are vintage. And um, so I just wanted to show these to you. They're just very sweet. And one of the reasons I have those picnic baskets in my kitchen is so I can switch things like this up. I can put dishes away. I can bring other dishes out. These are Syracuse China. Um, which uh, my father-in-law worked at Syracuse, China in his early years of life, and these are very sentimental to me. So um, in these shelves here, I just keep things that I use for our coffee station, which leads over to this wall, which was the wall that I was talking to you about. This is the focal point of the living room. It's a connecting wall, so you kind of um, it kind of leads into the kitchen area uh, so to speak. And so this left set of shelving includes like um, decanter bottles and the tea kettle. Some books are intermingled in there, but it looks kind of kitcheny, yet it doesn't look um, not living room appropriate, if you know what I'm saying. There's records, this vintage typewriter. Uh, we love this. This, when we got this wall done, it just, wow. We were just so happy with it. The last time I would have shown you this, the wall was still the um, apartment colored wall, that creamy white, which I don't like very much. But um, this is a creative thing that I do for storing some of my jewelry supplies. Since we are in the living room, I use these beautiful crystal dishes, candy dishes, and I love it. So this is the focal point in the living room. And I am, I love this, love everything about this everything about it. Um, I hope you love it too. Please do give me your feedback and comments. Let me know um, what you think of this wall um, because I'm pretty proud of it. Very, very excited. It just works. It's beautiful. So here's another last look at the living room. Um, don't be afraid to angle your furniture. You never know what great arrangement you might come up with. And also, I just wanted to say that, you know, I've, I've talked about this in this video, how much I hate that sofa, but you know what? I'm practicing gratitude. I have a sofa to sit on today. It's better than not having one. And we're going to talk a lot about this mindset, continuing to shift our mindset from this lack of appreciation into this attitude of, I'm so thankful that I have this. I... I, I could, yes, I could have a better this or that or whatever, but I, you know, no, I don't own my own home today. I have an apartment, but I'm grateful I have an apartment to live in. I'm grateful I'm not out on the street. Um, you might remember that I showed you the project of us redoing this headboard, and this is one of the areas where I've had to practice gratitude because... I have found myself going, I don't like this headboard. I'd like to have a different one. But, you know, people are hurting right now. And I am not exempt from this hurt that's going on in the world. Um, my business has changed a lot in the last year. And I've, I've talked to many small business owners who are feeling that same crunch that I feel. And we're, I'm just practicing thankfulness. I have a bed, a beautiful bed, a wonderful bed. It's a puffy mattress, by the way. I highly recommend. Um, I have, you know, a dresser to put my things in. I have a lot of things that I love. Is everything perfect? Have I been influenced by influencer culture? I've tried not to be. So I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope I've inspired you and I hope I've challenged your thinking. So please like, subscribe, comment below, let me know your thoughts, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.